Welcome back to Dan's Messy Garage. I am in my messy garage today, working on my engine. Now, the other day, I did pull all the valve springs off, took all the valves out, lapped them with lapping compound. That's all in great shape. I'm happy about that. All the valve guides were tight. Everything was fine. This is a tray that you use to hold all the parts as you take an engine you know, apart. And it's for V8. I only have a six cylinder. I'm just using it for the lifters. Now, when I pulled the lifters out, I numbered them all so they go back in to their respective spots in the engine. And uh, I'm going to take all the lifters apart. I have one apart right now. There's not much to it. Get it on there. Just a spring. This is assembly and a little clip that holds everything together. I'm going to take them apart. I'm going to put them in their jars. I'm going to do six at a time in my ultrasonic cleaner. And I'm going to try some more detergents. And uh, I'm mainly doing it to get inside this thing clean. I've got holes in there for oil to get in. So the cleaning solutions should be able to get in there and clean all that out. And um, I'm going to set it up and come back and show you what I'm doing. All right. Here's what I did. I got six lifters pulled apart in different solutions. This one, I put pine saw in baking soda. Use this shot glass thing, so I gave it two shots of pine saw, teaspoon of baking soda. That one over there, two shots, A team. This one, Dawn dish soap with a shot of uh, baking soda. Over here, oil eater, two shots of oil eater. This one, two shots simple green. And this other one is super clean. Let me grab the container here. This stuff, it really works well for cleaning grease and off of parts. So I'm going to try it in the ultrasonic cleaner. What I'm going to do is take each one of these and fill them about halfway up with water that's already hot. It's 52 degrees Celsius or 144.3 Fahrenheit. Just going to use the drain hose on the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. And I'll fill them about halfway. Here we go. Let me start. Lifter number one. Pine saw and soda. That should be good. Put that drain down in there. Get those out. This is 18. This one out of the way. 18. Next will be Don with the baking soda. And then it'll be oil eater. Okay. Number five is going to be the super clean. I 
last one will be simple green. Okay. All right, so I'm going to pop them all in the ultrasonic for 10 minutes. The heater is on. And we'll pull them out and take a check. Let me put you guys up here while I do this. Oh boy, I'm going to have to drain some liquid out from that hot water. Grab a bucket. Because as I put those jars in there, it's displacing more than uh, I thought. Oh well. Okay, run some of that out of there. Okay. Put that in there. These two. See, right now the water level is over the top of those. I'm going to drain it down because I don't want water from there leaking in there. Looks like this one here has a leak. Okay, that should be good. Turn this off. 10 minutes and then we'll take a peek at them. All right, 10 minutes are up. Pull them out of here. See what we have. Nice and hot. 100, 137 degrees. All right, this is A-team. Well, let's see if I can show you this. This assembly thing came apart. That little little cap came off it looks clean inside spring is clean the clip is clean I mean that looks I can keep it in frame here that looks great it really does after 10 minutes all right let's pull out the next victim oh I still have the body of the lifter in there And that looks great also. Okay. I expected that to work well because the A-team works really good on everything I've tried it on so far. Oil eater. Same thing. Ow, ow, ow. Shit. Whew. All right. The lifter body. Excellent. Plunger part. Also excellent. Spring excellent. And a clip is perfect too. All right. Oil eater, fine. Oh, incidentally, pulling those lifters apart, that little spring thing, uh, one of them went flying. 
looked for it for a long time with my magnet fishing all over my workbench and on the floor and in and behind things. Never found it. Luckily, I have other lifters, so I pulled one out of another lifter. Then, of course, I went and got my magnet and held it over the spring clip as I pulled them apart. All right, next up, pine saw with soda. Got a bunch of scum floating on top. The uh, lifter body, good and hot, looks good. This one, the old plunger thing didn't come out. It's still in there. Parts look good though. Wait, plunger's coming out. Nope, came out. And it does have some scum in behind it, probably because it didn't come out till now. Well, that's going back in there. Ah, I'm going to put the body back in. You guys are probably yelling at me to do that. I got it. Just settle down. All right. This one is super clean. Dark in there. I can see some scum floating around. Lifter body. Very hot spring clip. This one came apart too. They're all looking great. I'm glad this little plunger thing came out of all of them so far. So I know that it's clean inside. Now there is some sort of a, a check ball or something in this end of the lifter. That I'm not gonna take apart. I'm gonna let the ultrasonic cleaner do its thing on whatever's in there. And then these are gonna go back into the block in the order I pulled them out. I even numbered the containers. And I'm gonna reuse the cam. I checked all the lifter bottoms. They're in great shape. I inspected the cam closely. That's in great shape. All right, Simple Green has a scum line. I did not put baking soda in the Simple Green. I think the baking soda keeps all that scum in suspension. You don't see it float around. And... Uh, this one also looks good. Oh, the scum line, yeah. It just makes it easier to clean out if it drains out with the fluid. This looks like the others. So far, we're five for five in only 10 minutes. And this plunger came out also. It's great. I'll put all parts back in. Last one. Is going to be the Dawn with the baking soda. I can see some particles floating around inside there. All right, that lifter plunger came out too. I don't need to show you all these, I guess, because they all look the same. Good and clean. Very nice. Lift her body, and I just saw the clip drop. Ouch. Lift her body is hot, hot, hot. Looks great inside. Okay, so these are, these are clean. What I'm going to do is uh, throw in the other. I'm going to take these out, clean them up, dry them off, put them back together, and I'm going to shove the other six in there um i don't know what solution i'm going to use but it's not going to matter they're all working and uh this is going to be a short video but uh just wanted to show you what was inside of a lifter and cleaning them in an ultrasonic cleaner made it very easy 
So just uh, keeping watching for my next video, which I have no clue what it's going to be about. Bye.